All right, coach. You can tell by the smile how, how you know, pleased you are about the way you guys play today. Can you talk about that? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm pleased we got the win. Right. Um, I'm pleased that we got the win and we held on. Uh, I think we all know that we could have played a better game, but I'm just so right. grateful that we held on. And, and, you know, when you're at this point of the playoffs, it's, it's survive in advance, and we survived in advance tonight. Um, right. And, and I'm not going to lie that winning that game – is a little bit more meaningful. Uh, the last four years that I've been a part of this program, Sawao has, has been our arch nemesis. And, and to win here tonight, to move on to the state championship game, it, it, can't lie that it, it means a little extra. Right. Talk about your guard play, Bria and Kylie, the way they came on there in the fourth quarter with the free throws especially. Yeah, we, we, we talked about it at the beginning of the season, uh, the, the three things that we needed to change as a program. Uh, we needed to be mentally tougher, we needed to finish our layups, and we needed to be better free throw shooters. Right. And, and we've addressed all of those in, in waves throughout this whole year, but tonight, tonight, tonight all three of those saved us. So right. Made some really key layups and, and made our free throws when it mattered most, and then um, we were mentally tough when it mattered most. Right, so th this is your fifth year in the program or fourth? This is my fourth, fourth year. Okay. The, the previous three years was as an assistant. Okay, and then this is obviously the first time you've got into the championship game, right? Yes, sir. So what's what's that process been like for you to get now to that, that point? You know, I, I, I've got some really great coaching friends. You know, I, I, I talk a lot to uh, Henry Reskis, the head coach at Dobson. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. I talk to Mike Perkins over at Flowing Wells fairly often. And, and I, I'm very lucky that I get some good advice and good leadership from coaches that have been there before. And, and I don't know if they realize how meaningful it is, but I, I get some help from them because um, I've obviously never been in this position, right? Um, I'm, I'm grateful to Coach Curran, uh, the, the playoff trips that we've had the previous three years, that, that prepared me for this scenario. And, and he allowed me to be a big part of our planning. So that that's kind of prepared me for this. But, you know, it all came down to the girls that we had and them buying in and believing into the system that we're trying to run. And, and it, it's, it's not just offense and defense, but it's, it's about playing together. And we, we played together enough this season to get us to this point. Right. And, and I'm just overjoyed by that. And then now your thoughts about playing Seton Catholic, which is a powerhouse program. You know, you know we, we said from the very beginning of the season that Seton was the standard. Yeah. We, we've known Seton has been the standard. They've been the standard for 10 plus years, if not that. Right. And, and Coach Self is incredible. And we know that this isn't going to be easy. We know we, our work is cut out for us and that we got to play together. But uh, more than anything, we're just grateful for the opportunity. You know, we, we, we wanted to, to match up and see how it goes. And, and we're just going to go down there and and give them everything we got and, and try to play our best game. And then, you know, it's it's a championship game. Anything can happen. Right. I mean, did, did you feel like you, at the end of the year that you guys could be the, at this point? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I think we felt that way for the last three or four years. Okay. Right. And this is the group that finally bought into that belief and, and came together. Uh -huh. But um, absolutely, our, our discussion this entire season was state or bust basically and and we've had that kind of belief and faith and, and honestly it's carried us through some of these tough games you know we had a close one at flowing wells uh midway through the season and that that carried us through and then um up in mesquite we had a tough game and we, we've challenged ourselves with these tough games and you know we're just we're just grateful for the opportunity we're i have 15 girls a part of this program, and all of them work incredibly hard. I mean, I, even my kid, Brianna Arzmendi, who has a torn ACL, she's in the trainer's office every day working her butt off. I got an incredible group of young women that are just wanting to work, and, and that's all you can ask for as a coach is people who want to work and play for you. Great. And, you, and you've talked to me about your coaching staff, too. The, they all have cell point blood in them, right? So that, that means something. Two of the or four do. Two so of the two, four, okay. two of the four, uh, uh, Eliana Loya and Marissa Harrington, um, they're, they're a young staff. Uh -huh. um, they're, they're, uh, they're very motivated, and, and uh, they do a great job of helping us stay together. Uh -huh. They do a great job of, of getting the girls to, to be unified together. And, you know, uh, I got this position late. It was right before the season was supposed to start. So I didn't, never really had a chance to put together my own staff. 
So we really retained all the coaches from last season, and and it was actually the best thing that could have probably happened um, in terms of keeping this group together so that it helped us um, stay unified. Well, great. Well, best of luck to you up there Saturday. All right. Thank you. Um, we'll be we'll be following you there. So best Thank of you. luck. Thank you. Thank you.